Yo, what's up guys? I'm Grandmaster Shaman and welcome back to the channel. And today we have the brand new video game, Data Live Rio Reincarnation. Now, quick disclaimer before we really get into this series is that I actually already played this. Um, I went through and I played this entire game in one sitting. I recorded it all in an attempt to put it on YouTube and I had to delete all of it because my microphone double recorded my voice um, and it was just in the audio. So it just sounded like my voice was echoed like constantly throughout the whole thing. And uh, there were, I tried multiple different ways to try and edit the voice to, to make it different uh, and it didn't work. But I've only played Rio Reincarnation. So I actually found out that Rene Utopia and Arusu Install are both games that have not come out in English to this point, which is one of the reasons why they're in this version of the game in the English release is because they haven't been released in English yet. So I am going to play those ones first and hopefully I'll forget enough about Rio Reincarnation. And not to mention, I also only went through one route. So I'm missing a lot on Rio Reincarnation and hopefully this game will take long enough and we'll go through enough that it won't really matter and I'm going to say this I'm going to go through every possible route I'm not settling I want to beat this game I want to get my money's worth out of this game and get through everything so hopefully you guys stick through until the end you get to see all of the cutscenes that they have gloriously made for us in this uh, all three of these games Put together um, so well over 100 date scenes it should be absolutely terrific so if you guys are hyped make sure you guys hit that like button down below for me because you already know your supports greatly appreciated as well as leaving a comment comments are super super helpful I cannot stress enough how important they are I will be keeping the audio to a minimum I, I've put the uh, voice audio up because I do like the voice actors for the game so I will let them run through first and then I will read off the English dialogue right afterwards um, however with little busters I'm com constantly getting copyright strikes well not strikes but uh, the music the background music in the game is getting copyright on my thing so it can't be monetized if I do ever get to that point um, which is doubtful but uh, I do want to keep the volume, the the music volume at a minimum if that is possible. Uh, so that is why you probably won't hear much of the like kind of light background in music is because Little Busters kind of ruined that for everybody. Um, but Rene Utopia is the first game. So this is before Data Live Season 2. So if you guys have not seen Data Live Season 1 yet, you need to. But this will give you a brief explanation. The first occurrence took place 30 years ago on the East, er, Eurasian continent, killing 150 million people. Uh, the Eurasian Sky Disaster. Poof. And it's gone. The moment I opened the door to the rooftop, I knew so it was already starting. I felt my skin tingle from the tense air. Oh, it's Toka. What's up? I turned around and there stood a girl I was looking for. I just around my game gaze, there stood Toka. Okay, there's Toka. Toka! Her astral dress was glowing and the haze of purple light came forth from her body. Shido, run! There's no way I can! I may be able to do something if it's... Huh? I tried to run but my body wouldn't listen. The ghostly light from Toka's body charged at me. <clears throat> In that moment, an intense gravity tightened my lungs, as if I were plummeting deep into the sea. But I wouldn't stop moving. Bearing the weight, I took one step to get to Toka, then another. <clears throat> Something I felt a strong sense of power welling inside me. But where it, was it going? <laughs> You, you, you can't come. If you're with me, e even you will. Toka was c carrying a large sword, unbefitting of her, in her gorgeous dress. Sandalfon pierced the ground as she clung 
onto it, her body shaking. Unbe- Unbefitting! This man. Unbefitting. Look how gorgeous she looks. In fact, the sword kind of complements the battle outfit. I'm just saying. Her beautiful hair was dark as night, and doll-like face betrayed signs of, of pain, as if withstanding uh, something severe. Even if you don't want me, I slowly approached Toka, struggling to walk. I... We'll never let you be alone. Well, this is a good start. Shido, I don't want to kill you. Sadness overcame her and she screamed in a way I couldn't believe. The aura emanating from her body was even stronger than before. Toka! I faltered even a little. The light would barely blast me away. I resisted and reached my arm out to Toka. She said it. Toka's expression was full of despair. Just then, I felt a power surging through me. I had no idea where it came from. I forgot I need to keep track of the time. Sandalfon, gripped in Toka's hand, seemed to answer it. It suddenly gave off a power... Burgeoning light. Burgeoning light. At this rate, Toka will... Oh, look, it's the hand. Toka! Well, this is a great start. Is this the utopia? As the sound of Toka's scream ra rang in my ears, my vision turned white and my consciousness was severed. Hey, ruler, what's up? I Uh, it's kind of, kind of broken. I oh, always thought mm, you. What? Whose voice was that? I feel like I know it, but I don't. There is one thing I know for sure. That voice was so warm and filled with kindness. I love how she moves. When I woke up, I saw a familiar face. Toka. Shido! 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 Toka, that hurts. What is going on? I looked around the room. What, what's the matter, Shido? Do you feel sick? The girl looking at me in such a worry was Toka Yatogami. Despite her hu human appearance, she is actually a spirit, a being of great powers. Seeing Toka's bright smile, my mind was made up. Humans and spirits c shouldn't harm one another, and there's no if there was no other way, I would save the spirits myself. And I sealed Toka's powers. Come to think of it, my days have been filled with dates ever since I met her. Uh, that's not it. I just don't know what's going on. Hmm? I tried to ask her what was happening, but before I knew it, Toka had stepped away from the bed with her back towards me. Toka? She's so cute. Alright, Shido, you, you stay there. Uh, what do you mean, Toka? Is that how it works? Just don't move. In order to heal you, I'm gonna have to sleep next to you, right? Wait a minute. Totomate. Don't what's the matter, me? What are you doing, Toka? Hmm? You're feeling sick, aren't you? Yeah, I'm aching all over, but... Then I have to warm your warm your body. It's important to warm up. Very important. Hey! Oh my god. Hadaku de? Is that Hadaku is naked? Really? Hmm. Interesting. If we're going to warm up, I must hug you. Naked. I'm learning Japanese, so it's actually kind of good to hear the Japanese voice actors say it. What? Toka! Stop! 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 Please calm down. Why 
Why are you refusing me, Shido? Are you saying I'm not enough to warm you up? <laughs> That's not the issue. Shido, uh, Kotori! Shido, are you up? Hey, Kotori! Huh? Gee, is causing trouble again. Ko Kotori? Did I do something wrong? It wasn't Cheeto, it was my fault. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault, Toka. You're just doing what you thought was right. Can I is there a head pads button? Dang it. What are you talking about? What? Don't tell me you don't remember, Shido. Yeah, I can't remember anything. Kotori looked over at Toka briefly, then back at me. <sighs> I love that face. <laughs> Good. It seems like you're your usual self again. I guess having a bad memory is kind of your thing, Shido. Well, well excuse me. <laughs> Kotori Kur Kuro Kotori is the best Kotori, let's be real. Maybe I should schedule an appointment at the hospital, although since you were born with it, it's probably too late. J just forget it. <laughs> that face. That face. Well, I'm glad you look better than I thought you would, besides. Hmm? You just got better a second ago. What were you trying to do with Toka on that bed? Uh, no, Toka was worried about me and... Oh, that was it? That was all... Okay. Ah, oh, you're horrible. Going through puberty and, you... and can't keep those raging hormones in check. But you can blame someone else, can't you? Listen to me. Toka's this idiot's alright. Don't worry. Wow, it was Kotori. You're the one who said if I slept next to him, we'd recover faster. What's Kotori after? I thought I thought her I thought she was the jealous like of this whole thing. Well, kind of. Like, not jealous jealous, but like, she wanted to end up with her brother. Kind of. I don't know. I can't really read Kotori, but Kotori's also got a pseudo-MPD in a sense. So... I did say that. You can still do it if you can. Hey, hey, Kotori! If it helps Shido get better sooner, then I... No, Toka, I'm totally fine now. It's the thought that counts. I feel all better now. Yeah, thanks. Shido. Hontoka? Hontoka? Yeah, I promise. Um... I'm, I'm, I'm good, honestly. Hmm? What, what's the matter? She wanted it. She wanted it. Oh, I, I, hopefully this, the volume sounds pretty close. So, maybe you could tell me what happened to me? You seriously don't remember anything? Not at all. Maybe we should get your head checked. <clears throat> the This snide one's Kotori Its, Itsuka, otherwise known as my little sister. Imoto! Her personality changes depending on the color of her ribbon. When she's wearing white, she's carefree and adorable to the point where you can actually kind of want to mess with her. But when her ribbon is black, her current state, you'd get an it, you'd be an idiot to upset her. She has such a mouth on her that there's no way to win. I'd call her I'd call this her commander mode, as Kotori leads the organization known as Radit Radit Ratatotsker. Ugh. It's quite a name. From aboard the airship called the Franksinus. While Kotori is cha charged with protecting the spirits as the commander of Rat Rat Ratatotsker, her uh, she herself has spirit powers as well. 
and has recently discovered that someone gave her the powers that turned her into a spirit. Despite her age, Kothori bears a lot of responsibility from that role. I know she needs to be tough, but seeing my innocent little sister turn, turn out this way was sort of a shock. But when I was struggling, Kothori stood by my side as family. No matter how much Kothori changed, I would do anything for her. Yo, Shido! Yo, Shido! My love! Oh, the best! The, 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 the best girl! Best girl is here! Best girl is here! If you do not think Yoshin- Wait, is that the same outfit? Hold up. So I, I think it's the same outfit, to be honest. We'll have Yoshino, we'll have Yoshino come in here and and watch watch some watch some good stuff. Yahoo, Shido Kun, you're looking great this morning. Shido, oh, she's so cute. I love her so much. Hey, Yoshino, you were here too. Are you really okay? <laughs> yeah, supposedly he's fine, aside from his head. <laughs> Toka. <laughs> no, nothing. Well, whatever. Oh my god, she's just so cute! Oh, don't you just want to, like, gobble her up? Oh my gosh. The head part doesn't concern you. Uh, didn't concern you, did it? The little awkward girl is Yoshino. She is the second spirit I met. She is uh, very quiet and abnormally shy. She somehow managed to open up to us enough to talk, but it took a while to get to this place. This is, uh, that's about it for introductions. Oh, sorry, sorry. You do exist too, Yoshino. <laughs> Yoshinon was the one who said hi to you first, and you've ignored me all this time. Maybe that's the proof that you're still sick. Sorry, I was talking to Yoshino and I forgot. That's right, I can't forget Yoshinon. Yoshinon is the rabbit puppet and Yoshino's friend. Yoshino's other personality is channeled through this little one. Yoshino would never hurt somebody. She's kind, in fact, she's probably too kind. But her extreme shyness makes her panic, and she risks freezing everything around her. She may be quiet, but she still has the powers of a spirit. Yoshinon, Yoshinon loves to talk, and it, and is something of an outlet to control Yoshino so she won't accidentally hurt somebody. Now, I think I'm done with all the introductions. But not, not really. Oh. What's up, Rine? How do you feel, Shin? Rene san, your face, it's too close. Mm -hmm. The one who just came in, but clearly looks more tired than I do, is Rene Murasame san. She is a very talented analyst for the Rat Rata Totsker and Kotori's right hand. She analyzes and monitors the spirits and anything related to them. She could she should be very intelligent, but she can never seem to remember my name. She suddenly transferred to the school Ryzen Academy and is an assistant homeroom teacher, so I see her often. She always has the teddy bear in her chest pocket and can't help but stare at it. She's mysterious and probably and generally nice and dependable, I think. Shin, Shin you just recovered, so you shouldn't push yourself too. Hey, Rine-san! <sighs> She's my spirit animal. This is like me in a nutshell. I have insomnia, so it's kind of like... I try not to look like her, but fuck. It's hard sometimes. I know. You, but you shouldn't be the one... But shouldn't you be the one resting, Rene-san? Who 
フラクシナスの医務官から処方してもらったもの低下した体力を回復してくれるだろう Forget that, Shen. Here, drink this. It was prescribed by the medic on Franksinus. It should help restore some of your diminished health. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, Rene san.、ね、what is the matter? Is there a reason for this outburst? Don't, what's the matter, me? What, what is going on? Explain! Toka, Toka squeezes me awake, and Kotori and Yoshino charge into my room. And now you're giving me medicine to recover? Did I contract some kind of awful. <laughs> Have you calmed down?、Uh, uh, 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 uh. <sighs> Did she just push Rene's boobs on me? Well, on Shido? Are you alright, Chin? Sorry, it's not like that. Hey, Kotori, just don't push Rune's chest in like that. You look like you're in panic mode, so I just use a special technique. You got a problem with that? Problem? Don't use Rune's chest like it's some sort of treatment center. <laughs> If it calms you down from hysteria, I don't mind. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Kotori's hilarious. I tell you what, Kotori, Kotori's up there. You know, ah, man, I, someday I'm gonna have to make a list of the best Data Live characters. I'm just saying. Straight from the treatment center herself. Do you want to get checked in again? You kind of look like you want to, Shido. No, I'm fine, thanks. Forget about that. Can you be serious for a second and tell me what's going on? Shido. I'm pretty sure he said that already. What's going on? Shido, you really don't remember? No, I don't. <laughs> When she pressed me like that, I started to get nervous. Clearly, something ha had happened to me. But no matter how much I tried, I couldn't remember anything. Rather, I had no idea how I ended up like this. I could barely, what I could barely remember was that I had a dream. But that shouldn't have anything to do with this. Three days? Well,. You've been knocked out for three days, so I don't blame you. What? Wait a minute. Three days? Did you really just say three days? Hold up. Uh, 50 days.、Okay. Yeah, I did. Rene, could you explain it to my idiot brother? Baka Baka. That is what she said. You were asleep in the infirmity of the Franksonists for three whole days. You seemed to stabilize and got approved for discharge, so we brought you to, this, to your bed this morning. It was really tough. Toka was bawling, think it was her fault. Yoshino went berserk, or almost went berserk. This is all your fault, Shido. But, I mean, what do you want me to say? And why was I out for so long? I don't remember anything leading up to that. Shido, Baza. Shido, you tried to save me. I went berserk. Toka, you went berserk? What do you mean by that? Dun dun. I remembered. That's right, back then, I. I was chatting with Toka in the classroom. We were talking about how I had been sick lately, and there was a new item at the bread shop I liked. We were just chatting about nothing. Then Toka looked like she was in pain and ran out of the classroom. I rushed to follow her up the stairs to the rooftop, and there I found Toka. Okay. This is the exact same. Yeah, okay, this is the same sequence. So we already went through that at the beginning. We didn't miss anything. We just remembered it, I guess, because we forgot. Even though we literally had to play through that part. Like, wh why would you not start waking up on the bed and then recall it? Rather than play through the stuff that you're gonna have to play through again later. I don't know. You remembered. Yeah. Gosh, you're reckless. Don't you get it? 
そうやって生きてられるのが不思議なくらいなのよ。It's a miracle you're alive right now. Simo. But I couldn't just leave Toko alone like that. And besides, my body can take damage. Well, I guess sometimes it can't, but. <laughs> Bam. Yeah, you deserve that. You keep justifying it to yourself. What are you doing? Corkscrew in my gut. That's dangerous. <laughs> you don't even know the limits of your recovery, yet you have a blind confidence in your abilities? You're so dumb. I'll have to show you by force. <laughs> Kotori was referring to my abnormal ability to heal from damage whenever I got hurt. Her power was sealed inside me, which made it possible. Until now, I relied on this power almost carelessly, but I honestly don't know how much of the healing I could actually do. Sorry, that was my fault completely. Well, I guess you're being dumb enough to go and help her is what makes you Shido. I have no words. Listen to me, you better not be reckless anymore. None. In your current state, you could easily die. Huh? But I thought I had your powers, Kotori. I got you with the Franksiness when you were unconscious and looked into you. The results of the analysis showed that miraculously there was no damage from her rampage, but there was another problem. Problem? Yeah, Shin. Magic is countercurrenting into your body, all the sealed power up until now. But this isn't the first time it's happened, is it? No, this countercurrent phenomenon isn't new, and we knew it was it to be a temporary thing, right? It was something we anticipated, so it wasn't a problem, but this case is different from the last time. I'm still investigating, but we're completely at a loss. We have no idea what's going on. Looking at Toka or Yoshino, it doesn't seem like it caused uh it was caused from the spirits being stressed. Shido, do you have any idea what it could be? No, I have no idea. I just felt the power uh inside me and leave me, that's all. Did you feel any abnormalities in your body? No, I guess I was a little tired that day. It doesn't seem like that would affect it. Nothing showed up when we were examining you on the Franksiness. That's right. I mean, we did some rigorous testing, so I'm sure the results are accurate. I'm sorry. I know it's my body and all, but I can't seem to give you any useful feedback. No need to apologize. This was kind of an accident after all. Shin, you can safely say that all spirits are now unstable. As long as you're losing your powers, you can no longer have the divine protection of them. So that means... You're not invincible anymore. If there's anything that could put your life in danger, it will do so. And next time around, you'll definitely die. Noni! You finally get it, don't you? So you're telling me one wrong move and I could have died? So you got Exactly. 
Jeez, you're worrying us every single time. If you die, Shiro, if I can't be with you, then that will make me very, very sad. Oh, don't worry about it, Toka. See, look, I'm safe. Shido, you should worry it at least a little. I'm telling you now, Toka isn't the only one who went berserk. Noni. Yoshino went berserk at the same time Toka did. What, Yoshino? Just like Toka, we don't know what caused it. It may be related, but the spirit mansion is frozen on every floor and we can't use it. No, 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 Yoshino, it's not, it's not your fault, okay? It's okay. Don't, don't cry, no! It's fine, Yoshino, don't worry about it. Are you okay? That's what's important. Oh yes, that's good. That's what that's that's what matters. That's what matters. Yeah, even Yoshino was surprised. All of a sudden, there was like a huge surge of power, and it just wouldn't stop. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's totally fine. I mean, we're friends, right? Yeah, thanks, Yoshinon. That's okay. It's okay. They've stabilized plenty, but Toka and Yoshino need to undergo a few more tests. After that, I guess they'll be staying at our house for a while. Oh, yeah, wait, what? What's the big deal? Toka used to live with us just a, a little while ago. It's true. I know, but don't you think it's inappropriate in so many ways? What are you fucking on? You live with Kotori and you're just fine, right? Is it on you? Ah, uh, Kotri's funny. You seem to be rattled. Were you perhaps expecting something in particular? Oh, holy shit. Alright, um... As you can see, this is, this is from Rio Reincarnation. Okay, this one's Renate Utopia. It says right there, okay. How many save spades do we have? A lot. Okay. Fuck! I have to choose? Maybe just a little. Yeah, right! Ugh, don't look at me like that. I wasn't expecting anything specific. It's just, you know, it would be an issue of any high school male in. Fuck you. What? Are you just gonna turn them out on the street? No, I was just wondering if there was any other way. I didn't mean it like that. Oh, I had no idea. I guess you're the type of guy to abandon someone in distress just for your own convenience. Yes, yeah, Shido. What the fuck, mate? What? No, Yoshino's gonna cry! Let them stay here! She can do anything she wants, it's okay! I mean, I could get another place ready. Whatever, I'll be responsible for them both. Oh, she's the 
Aren't you the lucky one? You get to live with the cute Yoshinon. I am lucky. I am very lucky. And by that, I mean Shido's very lucky because he's the player in the game. And we are just back here. Well, it's the first time Yoshino's staying over, but I'm sure it'll be fine. It's safer this way. I get to be with Shido again? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Yoshino is with us. Yeah, you're right. Why does it feel so awkward? It's because you're an idiot. What's with that look on your face? Seems like something's cooking in that noggin of yours. Maybe I should call the cops instead of the hospital. Don't. What's the matter, Toka? Yoroshiku. That's right. Don't. Uh, do you want to eat anything? I'll prepare something. Oh, really? Mm, I know. What about that caviar and foie gras thingy? I saw it on TV. Supposedly, it's truly amazing. Sorry, Toka, not that. Oh, really? Then I wonder what's good. As long as Toka is with Shido, she'll be stable. Where is she? Yeah, I don't think I'll have any issues with her current state. I'm also happy that I'm with Shido. Really? Forgot to ask, but how about you, Kotori? Huh? Huh? You seem totally fine, but you're a spirit too, right? Are you okay? I'm fine. Compared to Toka and Yoshino, I'm pretty stable. Oh, really? I thought it'd be good that you're with us too, but... Oh, now he's teasing... Captain or or Commander Totori? Oh come on. What what are you saying? Oh, I just thought that you might be even more stable if I'm nearby too. I just one check with you, but you know. Well uh I'm a hundred percent sure that she will be stable. Really? What are you doing, Kotori? I mean, who drop kicks a sick person? <laughs> she already did it! She did it like five minutes ago! I just want to make sure you don't get any ideas. How much of a sister complex do you have? It feels like I'm in danger. What? I, I would never do anything like that! Uh, Kotori... Why does she look so sad? Oh, I s uh, well, I said it for you. If I could protect you, wouldn't that be better? Gosh, times like these, it surprises me when you don't say something completely idiotic. That's pretty messed up. Shin, don't worry. It seems like your affection level is off the charts. Huh? Nene. Rene, milk crepes from Salon du, du Ponneur. Ten of them. Well, despite her appearance, Kotori is old enough. Sorry, Shin. This was all a misunderstanding. Oh, come on. Don't be bribed right in front of me. Bribed? What are you talking about? <sighs> Never mind. But no matter how stable you are, there's a chance that you go berserk too, right, Kotori? Then... Uh, 
<laughs> She's so funny. I know that. I'll be fine. If I need you, I'll rely on you or whatever. Okay. But remember this, Toka up. You could, you could. Don't, just remember this, Toka and Yoshino aren't as good at controlling their emotions as I am, so you need to prioritize them first, got it? Got it. I can't see out of half my face. Shin, I think you should rest soon. You just recovered. You shouldn't overdo it. Before you return to the Braxinus, let's get your temperature. Lie down on the bed. Uh, okay. Renee, uh, Rene san clearly looks uh, more unhealthy than I do, but she took out a thermometer. <laughs> Kotori, you take Shin's clothes off and wipe them down. What? Rene? The jabs. What? What? What's the matter? You did it every day on the Fraxinus, didn't you? That's, I, I think you're so tired you're starting to see things. No, you were taking care of him so much beside... Ten custard strawberry wheels. <laughs> Shin, I believe I was daydreaming. Today we'll have Toka or Yoshino bathe you. Rene mm? huh? san, I can get washed up and changed by myself. I sprang up and saw the room spinning around me. Oh, shit. Shin, are <laughs> I'm not alright. Not only did I almost lose consciousness, I thought I'd never come back. So, then lie down. Okay. I guess we'll forget whose fault this was. I lost the energy to fight back and just weakly la lay down to rest. Kozori was watching it all unfold. What if I, what if I want Yoshino? What if I want Yoshino to help? So, what do we do? It seems like we would. We, uh, it would be a bit hard for Yoshino. Toka, do you think you can take care of Shin? Um, leave it to me. So, what am I supposed to do? Well, take Shin's clothes off and wipe down his body. She's so innocent. What? I must take his clothes off? Toka, it's okay. I'll wash myself. Shido, you sit there. Uh, okay. Well, this is going to happen. Is this... Oh, they're all watching? Is this okay? Is this okay? All that's left is to get the towel and gently wipe down his body. Well, luckily, he's not completely naked, so that's a plus. Gently, right? What? What's going on? I'm super self-conscious. Now, let's get his temperature, too. What? Shouldn't it be afterwards? Shin. Ah... Uh... Uh, okay, uh, ah, uh, Dine san's cleave is just too close. God, man, men. I immediately looked away and saw Toka moving the towel over my skin and blushing furiously. Every time Toka moved the towel, it tickled my body. I felt like 
I would make a weird sound at any moment. <laughs> this is such a situation, isn't it? Shido, are you okay? I'm sorry, I may have touched your old wounds. No, that's not... It's not that. I know, I just need to watch more gently, right? Uh, sorry, then why don't I wipe you here? No, no, not there. This place is weak too? Shido, your whole body is injured. Oh, it's not your fault. It's all my fault. Forgive me, Shido. No, it's not like that. Don't worry. Really? Then let me wipe you more. No, don't do it anymore. Oh, Toka, for the for your first time, you're doing a good job. Really? It seems like it's good to keep the body clean. Thanks, Toka. I'm... Toka, I think you left a spot over there. Hmm? That way. That way. G I got it. Kotori, you bit. <sighs> Yoshino. Shiro, are you okay? I'm not It's totally fine. A perfect harem situation for the lucky perverted Shidokun. Oh no, I can't take it. When I took your temperature at the Franks and as you were normal, but it seems you begin to f develop a fever. You should probably rest more. This is poisonous in so many different ways. I'm sure my fever went up for other reasons. She's a horny bitch. Yeah, let's return to the Franksonists. We have to examine Toka and the girls, too. Kothri, you totally knew what would happen, and you just let it happen, didn't you? My, I have no idea what you're talking about. What does she think her brother is? Uh... I'm going to head back now. Well, Shin, you take care now. Okay. Shiro, you seem worse than earlier. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I think... Thanks, Toka. Yeah, whenever you need help, let me know. <laughs> Man, we might have overdone it. Sorry, Shido-kun. It's not your fault, Yoshino. You're okay. Thanks for visiting. If you ever need anything, please let me know. That's right, Shido-kun. We need to help each other. Thanks, you two. Oh, Sh Shiro-san, please don't push yourself. Yeah, got it. I hope your checkup goes well, Yoshino. Uh, hi. That wasn't a thank you, that was yes. Hi is yes. Arigato or something along those lines is thank you. So, I mean, technically you could have just said yes. See ya. Shido. 
今回の件はこっちで調べておくからもう一人で無茶するんじゃないわよシロ I'll look into what happened this time so you won't、uh, so you be sure not to get, do anything reckless on your own anymore okay Alright. You can't really rely on my powers right now. Ah,、uh, did you say something? No! I let out a big sigh and stared at the ceiling. I couldn't get the last thought of Kothri. Image of Kotri out of my mind. She seems so worried. Now that everyone's gone, I feel lonely. Is that really sappy? Yeah, it is kind of sappy, to be honest. At the end of the day, I realized spending time with them is really precious. All this chaos has become the norm. In order to, for me to, to be able to stay with them, I'll need to recover, a quick, recover as quickly as possible. Yeah, you will. Alright, well, that's the end of today's episode. So make sure if you guys did like this episode, you guys hit that like button down below for me because you already know your support's greatly appreciated. As well as leaving a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on the series thus far and your thoughts on what could happen. If you guys don't know what's going to happen, leave some predictions in the comment section down below. Below for me. Check out all the other stuff on my channel. There's lots of cool stuff to check out, and we'll see you all next time.